This morning in today's Parents, we are getting a snapshot of how parents and kids are feeling right now and their hopes for the future. Mm -hmm. The organization Common Sense Media just released their State of Kids and Families in America 2024 report. And Jim Steyer is the founder and CEO. Jim, good morning. Good morning. Great to be here. Welcome Welcome back. You know, we focus so much on mental health, and I think it's so important to see the the overall health of, of parents and their kids. So what, what were the main takeaways from this report? Well, the main takeaways, I would summarize as saying, there is definitely a youth mental health crisis in the United States. Mm. And that young people feel that, look, we're parents. I know that as a parent. Al, you know that as a parent. Sure. It's real. And young people feel it. And their parents feel it. Mm. And there are serious levels of concern. Mm -hmm. So we have to address it. So, OK, let's look at some of these numbers you're talking yep. about. A lot of people rating children's mental health in their community as either just fair or poor. Oh. So, so what are some of these driving factors behind this? Well, I think the biggest driving factor overall probably is the social media consumption yep. and, and the yeah. constant time that young people today spend on social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, etc. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of the issues that my kids, I'm a parent of four, have dealt with that have included everything from depression to body image to body insecurity. Certainly, we hear stories about suicide, mm -hmm. really significant mental health issues that are linked to kids' experiences on social media platforms. There's a big story this morning about uh, eating disorders mm -hmm. and various types of algorithms. So kid, it's very different than when we were growing up. Yeah. When we watched ads on TV sometimes that, that had inappropriate yeah. content. Yeah. But it's constantly being fed to you through algorithms. So that's one really big factor. Mm -hmm. I think, second, there's a lot of scary information out there that can be in a form of bullying, but also really unsettling. And I think if you talk to young people today, they're worried about the future. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I saw another one here, poverty. That's another one, the economy and lack of parental support. support. Those are two other categories. That's right. And, you know, the truth is the economy is actually turning in a pretty good direction. But young people, I talked to my kids, did they feel really confident about a future in there, you know, being able to buy a house, mm -hmm. have that's a good career? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. The, the people are nervous about that, but I would come back probably to the idea that living in this 24-7 digital media yeah. world with the social yeah. media platforms, we really have to do something about it. And it's been way too long since Washington stepped up and did their well, job. Well, I was just about to say, your team held its first summit surrounding some of these issues. So let's talk about it. You know, we know our kids are going to be on. Give us some advice here. Well, we look, it's pretty simple. We have major laws that, that we've passed in California. The privacy law of the country that protects all of us, we passed right. in 2018 in California. Congress has done nothing. And now you're going to see this year, California is going to run two major social media laws, and so is New York State. Mm -hmm. They're almost the same laws, almost a pincer movement that will hold companies legally liable mm -hmm. for the content on their platforms. So once you start hitting them in their wallets, mm -hmm. and you can think the damages are really, it, by incident, can be in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. When they are held legally liable, the situation will change. But what about, like, my daughter, my sons, all of them? They're just scrolling, like, on TikTok, and it's just people just, other teenagers goofing off, or, you know, right. it's not even, there are companies who are behind it, but a lot of times mm -hmm. it's just kids being kids. Yeah. yeah. It's true, and a lot of stuff online is fine. And by the way, at Common Sense, we have 200 million users. We are but very it's open. Stop just scrolling. It's the constant of so, it. And so what some, can we do? Yeah. Right. What, you know, besides a law, as parents, yep. what do we do? I think whether we like it or not, you have a constant dialogue with your kids about this. I mean, one thing is just how much time do you let your kids on a platform? Sure. You also have to think, depending on the age of your kid, when are you going to give them a cell phone? Mm -hmm. You know, I, we didn't give any of the Steyer kids a phone until they were in ninth grade. Wow. Oh, they were not happy. About yeah. that. Let's be very clear. They yeah, were not. Right. No, but it, they're glad that we didn't now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I, so I think there are a lot of things parents can do, but it's an ongoing dialogue. The other thing is, because we're talking about mental health, we as parents have to, I, I know you, I've seen your kids grow up, Al, and you got to talk to those kids as they get older about what are they experiencing? You know, our two daughters, body image issues, insecurities about your appearance, you know, about all the different aspects of adolescence. And so that can morph into really serious mental health yeah. issues. So I think there's an ongoing dialogue. But I do think it's completely unfair to say this is parents' responsibility alone. Correct. We've allowed that companies to make trillions of dollars with no regulation, no oversight. That has to end. That's why the hearings this week, which were sort of like a circus trial. Yeah. Um, but those guys deserve it, in my opinion. Zuckerberg deserved to get bashed. But we have to, the bottom line is got to act. And then we got to help parents. Yep. Yeah. Jim, thank you. As always. As always. Thanks for all you're doing.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.